Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and I am a fan of when manufacturers and Google add things to Android. So for instance here on my OnePlus 7T, I have a system-wide dark mode, which is something only recent over the last couple of years when it comes to Android. I can also change my icon pack directly from within the launcher. I can change the accent colors, the shape of the icons, the font, the clock style, the fingerprint reader style. There is a ton of stuff that I can change on my device. Now one thing that I don't necessarily like is when manufacturers take things away from Android. So one thing that we had back in the Android 4 days was lock screen widgets, and now we've kind of got them back. Well, it's a little bit janky, but let's take a look. Now, first things first, we need to disable the face unlock because after all, you need to be able to actually look at your lock screen. And for me, the OnePlus 70's face unlock is a little bit too quick to do so. So once you go ahead and turn that off, you should all be set and ready to go. If I look at my device, nothing happens. I can only get in using the fingerprint scanner, or obviously you can go ahead and use the old fashioned pin code if you want to. But the main thing here is that the face unlock is turned off. Now the application that we're going to do this is 149 on the Play Store, it's called Lock Screen Widgets by a guy called Zachary Wonder. Now the first thing that you have to do of course when you actually start up the application is just give it permission to exactly what it needs to get access to. Because this is going to be an overlay on top of your current lock screen you will need to give it accessibility and also notification access so go ahead and just allow that. You don't really need to read it, everything's pretty safe and you don't also need any sort of root or ADB command to make this work. It will work straight out of the box directly from the Play Store which is really nice to see with some applications like this that actually customise your phone. There are sometimes some other hoops that you need to jump through, but not with this one. Once you have that all set up, you then have the support page front and center. Now, I do like this because the application is still in early access, so you've got some ways to contact the developer if you do need any help. The settings themselves are a little bit bare bones, but once you actually go ahead and go to your lock screen, you can see that you've got the option to tap to add a widget directly to your lock screen. So if we go ahead and do that now, we do need to unlock the device real quick. It is currently enabled, uh, so I'm just gonna see, I think I need to go back again to the settings side of things, because at the moment I can't really see anything on this screen, but there is a plus icon in the top right hand corner, which is then gonna take me to all of the widgets that I've currently got available on my Android device. So what we need to then do is do create widget. I'm gonna allow it to do this all of the time, and then I'm gonna go back to my home screen, lock my device, and then when I unlock it, I should then see the widget there. Now this one is from Appy Weather. You do need to tap on it to load widgets on your home screen, but for some reason it's not letting me do it on the lock screen, which is a little bit frustrating. So maybe it only works with certain widgets that you don't actually have to enable on the home screen, if that makes any sort of sense. So maybe let's go ahead and try a different widget. I'm not really sure what it's trying to load there. So let's go back into the application real quick, click again on the plus icon, and we'll go down to something that works all of the time from Google. So if we go down here to the at a glance widget, which again is something that you used to find on older Pixel devices. Hopefully now we should have, okay, so it's, it's now loaded the Appy weather widget just there so I'm guessing I had to come out of it and go back in and then we do also have the at a glance widget it's a little bit cut off but as far as I'm aware there is a way to resize these so if you press on the widget with two fingers you can then see that you've got the option to resize the widget from left to right up and down get rid of the widget with the red button and then you can also just move it around as well there's no sort of automatic centering of the actual widgets themselves and you can't come out of the edit screen without unlocking and then relocking your device which is a little bit frustrating but at least it allows you to resize things the at a glance widget has automatically resized itself so again guys keep in mind this is still in early access so it may not work exactly as you would expect it to so I'm just going to go back into my widgets here, go down to the weather section and then just put on the pre-installed OnePlus weather and again you do need to then click on the city at the top but then if I go ahead, lock my device and then unlock it, you'll see then that the widget is now where, okay, it's on my screen and it's not actually centered at all because there's no automatic centering like I mentioned before. So again, pressing on it with two fingers, it's a little bit hard to actually get hold of these anchor points. I found it's best if you long press on one of the anchor points points or where you actually move it around you will get a slight vibration feedback to allow you to then actually move the widgets around so again if I actually long press on one of these anchors you do get a slight haptic feedback to let you know you've basically got a hold of it and then you can move it around freely and do anything that you may need to do with this one it's a pretty simple widget and again I'm just going to move it down a bit up a bit and then kind of set it there 
But again, if you press it with two fingers, that is actually then the way that you can then lock the widget in place. Now, for some reason, because it is an overlay, sometimes you do get it where the widgets overlay your pin code, which again, isn't necessarily the best thing in the world, but it's still early access. So definitely do keep that in mind. Now, there's no easy way to re kind of arrange or reorder the actual widgets themselves. You do just need to get rid of them and then reapply them in the order that you actually want them. Now, like I mentioned, in regards to the actual settings, they are very bare bones, if kind of non-existent, to be honest. Obviously, you do have enable, unable, you can change the background color, hide when showing notifications, hide when notification shade is shown, hide on security input, and you can also change the page indicator if that's something that you don't want to see. Now, one thing that I would say is on older versions of Android, maybe Android 4 or slightly earlier, you could also customize some other things with other applications or with the built-in OS of your device. So you could go ahead and do things like take away the clock, for example, or change the clock or change the design of the clock which you can't do here you are going to be stuck with the clock widget at the top here you can't kind of long press on it you can however move your widgets to actually basically cover up stuff on your screen but you can't take away any elements as it's just an overlay of your existing lock screen it doesn't necessarily replace the lock screen altogether there is also a little bit of lag when you're unlocking the device the widget sticks around for a little bit longer than i would actually like it to so if i go ahead go back into the settings and turn this off and go in normally with my fingerprint reader you can see that it does it instantly nothing kind of hangs around and nothing really gets in the way now i do also want to try it with the face unlock so i'm going to go back into my settings on my android device and then I'm going to turn back on the face unlock to see exactly if that will work and if not kind of how that process is going to go. So going back into my settings and turning on the face unlock I'm then going to go back lock my device unlock it and it doesn't actually do it straight away. Oh, no, it does. It's just a little bit of a delay that I wasn't... I don't think I was looking at it straight on. If I look at the device straight on, then you can see there that for some reason it's also still not working. So I'm not sure whether this application plays around with the face unlock, which kind of would make it useless if you've got it on. And then again, if you try and get your pin code, sometimes the actual overlay is still there. But again, sometimes if you unlock it, it will go in with the face unlock. So again, early access, still a little bit janky from time to time. I would still recommend having the face unlock turned off because again, after all, if you're looking at your widgets, you don't really want your phone to unlock the moment that you look at it. And that's actually going to do it guys for this video. Like I mentioned, the application itself, Lock Screen Widgets, is still in early access, but I will have it linked in the description down below and it's available for $149 on the Play Store. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. If you've got any questions or comments about this app or anything else, let me know in the comments section or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. If you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to do so. And if you're subscribed, turn on notifications so you're notified anytime I post a video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.